I want to share with you some of the emails Donald Trump has been sending and some of the posts he has been making since the Supreme Court reached the absolute immunity decision. I also noticed a pattern in some of the emails Donald Trump is sending his supporters as part of his brainwashing tactics over his cult. I want to share with you what he's doing. It's typical cult leader behavior. I want to contrast it with what President Biden has been doing, saying, and talking about. First, I want to show you the email Donald Trump sent to his supporters. I subscribe to his listserv so you don't have to. I want to call it out and expose his behavior and conduct. So here's the subject. Ben, do you have all of your 4th of July gear yet? And it says only three days left until the 4th of July. In the wake of my huge Supreme Court win, I've released the perfect flag for Ben to wave as we celebrate America's freedom. Now, do you think it's going to be an American flag? If you guessed, yes. Eh. If you guessed, it's a red MAGA flag. Ding, ding, ding. Because Donald Trump has replaced the American flag with the MAGA flag. Donald Trump has changed the national anthem to the J6 choir song. And I know corporate media wants to say, oh, President Biden has a stutter. Oh my gosh, he has a stutter. Let's focus all our attention on that. Donald Trump has replaced the American flag with MAGA flags. Donald Trump has replaced our national anthem with a song sung by the J6 insurrectionist that he calls the J6 choir. Here's what Donald Trump is selling. Don't wait. The fourth will be here before the end of the week. Claim your MAGA flag. How much do you think the MAGA flag costs? Five dollars, ten dollars, eh, eh. five hundred or one thousand dollars to get your red MAGA flag, folks. Donald Trump then writes the following. You know, this is another email that he sends out. You know, I like shiny things. And it says, Ben, I'm upgrading you to the Diamond Trump status. This is your early access invitation to join the most exclusive group of MAGA patriots ever assembled. There are currently zero members. Wow. So you could be the first. Your membership in the Trump Diamond Club is so important to me, Ben. You are the reason I wake up every morning. I love you to the moon and back. I really mean that. So before the day is over, accept a spot in the Diamond Club. Just think about this. Donald Trump is sending an email to me or he's sending an email to others who are actually his supporters, which I am not, saying, I love you to the moon and back, and I really mean that. So then I started thinking about the pattern here that Donald Trump utilizes, and what I realized is, is that he continues to say, I love you. And he weaponizes the word love, to which he has no such feeling ever in his life, and tells his supporters over and over again, I love you, you love me, we're a happy MAGA family. By the way, if you think I'm making that up, that's actually emails that he says that, um, that, that he sends that says that. So here's the other one that he sent the other night. He goes, Ben is the reason I won the debate. Seriously, I couldn't have done it without you. So in recognition of what you did to help me, I'm awarding you a golden Trump flag pin. It's our American flag with Donald Trump's name on it. The same way he has his crime scene buildings with his name on it. Now the American flag says Trump over it. And I suppose it's fitting because the United States Supreme Court said that he is above the law. Trump on the American flag. Could you ever imagine in the United States of America, in these United States, somebody would ask the Supreme Court for king-like immunity to order the assassination of political opponents to order SEAL Team 6 or the military to massacre, to kill, to carry out a murder of the opposing political party, get absolute immunity for it, and plaster his name on the American flag and change the words of our national anthem, and I've got to deal with the corporate media going, but Biden has a stutter. He's, are you kidding me? What are we talking about here? But this is what Donald Trump is saying, that I'm getting this as an award 
So let me click to get my award. Oh wait, you want me to pay you $150, $250, $500 for this flag pin? I guess it's not an award. But notice what it says here. It's proof to all your friends and family that Donald J. Trump loves you. So if I want to show my family that Trump loves me, I need a flag with Trump's name on it, it says, and then I can prove to family members that I am loved by him. Let's talk about this pattern. This is what Donald Trump sends. Love this, love that. Here's the other one that he sends. I love you, you love me. We are one happy MAGA family. I love you, you love me is another email that he sends. And there's another one. This is Donald Trump, and we are sold out of dark MAGA shirts, but I'm Donald Trump, and I love you. So I restock these MAGA shirts just for you because I will never surrender. This is an email that he's sending to supporters that he says, this is Donald Trump, we're sold out, but I'm Donald Trump, and I love you? What, what the heck is this? Here's another one. There's no debate. I love Ben. And the whole, and I want the whole world to know it too. From Trump, I have a question for you. Do you still love me? Ben, do you still love me? This is the emails that he's sending to his supporters every day. Dozens of emails a day or half a dozen or so emails a day. And many of them saying, I love you. You love me. Do you love me? Please tell me you still love me. That's what he's sending in his campaign. The leader of the Republican Party, what are we talking about here? Then Donald Trump posts the following on his social media. Crooked Joe Biden spied on my campaign. Isn't that what you accused Obama of? Crooked Joe Biden spied on my campaign, took money from foreign governments, made some of the worst policy and military decisions. He is killing our country, total loser. Or how about this? In all caps, Donald Trump writes, the Supreme Court decision is a much more powerful one than some expected it to be. It's brilliantly written and wise and clears the stench from the Biden trials and hoaxes, all of them that have been used as an unfair attack on crooked Joe Biden's political opponent, me. Many of these fake cases will now disappear or wither into obscurity. God bless America, explanation point. And as I think about these messages, I'm just looking at some of these photos of Kim Jong-un uh, and these propaganda photos. Just take a look at some of these. Like, this is what Donald Trump wants. Like, take a look at Donald Trump's supporters. Here's Trump's lawyer wearing the Trump gold chain with his face on it. Um, here's the real men wear diapers outfit that Trump supporters are showing up to at his events. Fact check true by Snopes that they're showing up wearing diapers. Okay, can we go back to the world of normalcy for a second? What politics is supposed to look like? Like normalcy. President Biden writes, this nation was founded on the principle that there are no kings in America. Each of us is equal before the law. No one is above it. Not even the president of the United States. With today's Supreme Court decision on presidential immunity that fundamentally changed. President Biden writes, The expanded child tax credit I signed cut child poverty in half and put more money in the pockets of around 40 million working families in 2021. Republicans refused to extend it. I want to restore it because no child in this country should live in poverty. President Biden writes, I will respect the limits of presidential powers that I have for three and a half years. But any president, including Donald Trump, will now be free to ignore the law. I concur with what Justice Sotomayor wrote today. With fear for our democracy, I dissent. So do I. And here's the video President Biden published. Play this clip. The outset of our nation, it was the character of George Washington, our first president, to find the presidency. He believed power was limited, not absolute. And that power always resides with the people. Always. Now, over 200 years later, today's Supreme Court decision, once again, it will depend on the character of the men and women who hold that presidency that are going to define the limits of the power of the presidency, because the law will no longer do it. I know I will respect the limits of the presidential powers I have for three and a half years, but any president, including Donald Trump, will now be free to ignore the law. I concur with Justice Sotomayor's dissent today. She, here's what she said. She said, in every use of official power, 
The president is now a king above the law. With fear for our democracy, I dissent. End of quote. Associate the American people dissent. I dissent. President Biden also wrote, each of us is equal before the law. No one is above it, not even a president. With today's Supreme Court decision on presidential immunity, there are now virtually no limits on what a president can do. That is a new dangerous precedent. President Biden writes, it's time America got a better deal. My administration is hard at work to lower surprise travel junk fees, saving folks over half a billion dollars every year in airline fees. President Biden writes, reports have shown progress in lowering inflation, but I know families are struggling and we have much more to do. I will keep fighting to lower housing and health care costs and call on big corporations to pass their savings along to consumers. And President Biden writes, the Supreme Court has decided that it will be the character of the men and women who hold the presidency that will define its limits, not the law. I know I will respect the limits of a president's power. Check, check out this video that President Biden posts. The outset of our nation, it was the character of George Washington, our first president, to find the presidency. He believed power was limited, not absolute. And that power always resides with the people, always. Now, over 200 years later, today's Supreme Court decision, once again, it will depend on the character of the men and women who hold that presidency that are going to define the limits of the power of the presidency because the law will no longer do it. I know I will respect the limits of the presidential powers I have for three and a half years. I truly don't even know how we're even having a conversation here about the differences between President Biden and Donald Trump. You wanna be in a world where it's all caps, tweets and messages every day of Donald Trump out there behaving like a Kim Jong-un and turning our country into the laughing stock of the world as it was when he was in office. You want the drama, you want the headache, you want Donald Trump bragging about taking away women's reproductive rights. You want Donald Trump to treat women the way he's treating, treat minorities the way he's you want Donald Trump out there using our government to enrich himself and his family, plastering his name on our American flag, singing a new national anthem, screwing over hardworking people like he's done his whole damn life. His whole life, he's screwed workers. He screwed workers. He was in office for four years also. And he screwed workers over and over again, gave tax cuts to DECA billionaires and screwed we the people, was so fiscally irresponsible, added like $8 trillion to the debt. Horrific, horrific stuff. And that's why, again, I don't care if you're Democrat, actual Republican, independent, libertarian, whatever it is, not affiliated with political parties. We need normalcy, not Trump's freaking name on American flags, not absolute immunity to order SEAL Team 6 to massacre political opponents like Trump's lawyers argued and Trump claims he has. I don't care what political part. Let's unite for normalcy and our democracy. We can agree to disagree in the future, but we got to preserve and protect this beautiful American experiment that we have. It's ours to have if we can keep it. Let's do it, people. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million subscribers together. Thanks for watching. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.